guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dooda. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my um, Birds of Britain book and I'm just trying to use the book up really so that it's, you know, one less thing hanging around. So we've done quite well, you know, we, or, you know, I'd already used up quite a bit of the book to be fair. Um, so I didn't have that many pages to use. So I'm just going to take this piece of like fly sheet because I can obviously make, you know, a little flippy pad or something using that at another time. So I'm just going to take some of the image pages that I've got left and we'll just kind of, you know, make some bits with those. So I think what I'll do is take the ones that are whole page images and I'm going to make just some journal cards from those. So I've got this one here, this one here, I prefer this side, this one here, I love it in the black and white. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, this one here. Again, I'm sure I'm being very optimistic, thinking I'm going to get through all of these, to be honest. Uh, yeah, very, very unlikely. Um, and this one here, I love that. And I just think that's going to make such an amazing journal card. Okay, right. Let's put these to one side. So what I'm going to do is cut them down. Oh, this one, which, which side do I like? Oh, I do prefer this side, I think. Although this has got those gorgeous babies, which are really, very, very cute. Um, I'm not quite so keen on the colours in the rest of the picture, I think. Um, uh, oh, it's such a tough decision sometimes, isn't it? Oh, I don't know now. Oh, let's do this one. I know I said that I don't like it so much, and I do stand by that. I don't like it so much. But the reason I'm doing it is because sometimes I feel like every time I always do portraits and it would be quite nice to do, you know, landscape for a change. So, yeah, I think that's I think that's the one to do is so that we can just go landscape instead of portrait. Oh, and would you believe I've taken my scissors downstairs. So right at the beginning of the video, I'm already stumped with no scissors. So hang on. Let me just see if I've got a spare pair in my little bag that I take when I go to my mum's house. Nope, can't find them so far. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there are a pair of scissors in the bag, but of course the bag's in a tip, so now I can't find them. Right, hang on, let me just grab a pair from my cupboard behind me. So I always keep spares, as you know. I'm going to go to Ikea and I just bulk buy, bulk buy those three packs of the scissors, um, you know, so that I've always got plenty of scissors. Right. Okay, let's separate these out. I'm going to have to... Uh, hmm, I don't think that's going to cut the mustard, is it? I, if, oh, I didn't think I was going to be able to snap that plastic. But thankfully, I have. Whoa! It's going to be one of those days. It's already starting out like one of those days, so that's not good. I always just give these two pairs like to my daughter or, you know, I put them in the kitchen for just like, you know, kitchen scissors, things like that. So... Waste not, want not. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't chuck them away or anything. Right. Let's cut this one down. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's just take that one down like that. Yeah, I just think I always tend to do things portrait and actually it might be quite nice to do something landscape for a change. So... slightly here okay that looks nice now I have got the um you know the little title of the bird which I really liked using that when I did a couple of pieces with these bird images before so I might just keep that to one side so that's that one let's do this one so again this is going to make a really nice one in the sort of black and white So, and obviously this one's not going to be half so big as that other one. I'm going to just cut it in slightly because otherwise it was more square than rec rectangular. I mean, it wasn't really square, but you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, I've never made such a horrible job of cutting 
anything <laughs> so I've made of this. It's just the worst cutting on the planet. I don't know why. Just sometimes you just, that just happens, doesn't it? Right, must try and remember which, um, you know, which title is for which. So, yeah, it's doubtful, isn't it? Doubtful that I'm going to remember that. Okay, so this one, I've got to be honest, I'm not that keen on either picture. I don't think either are very nice, but we'll go for it this, this way, I think. Actually, do you know what? I'm wondering whether we could do that on a collage background. I love that picture. Isn't that beautiful? And I do like this one too. Right, okay, right. Let's just pop those to one side for a moment. So I've got my buff coloured card, which I really like using for things like this. Um, you know, I've said this so many times, but I just buy this in, you know, the card making packs to, you know, for card makers. Um, and then it just, you know, I buy it really for the envelopes because I love those size envelopes and I love the buff coloured envelopes. But I mean, of course, you then have the card, you know, inners and, you know, of course we wouldn't want to waste those, would we? So we'll just, you know, use them. To make journaling cards and you know they're perfect for that so it's all good we have not wasted anything yeah so I'm going to put that down there I'll just glue it on so just get my glue so already now I've turned it over and think oh I do prefer that side but yeah, I just wanted to do one that was landscape, really. So uh, that's the only reason that I went with this side, or, you know, the other side rather than this side. So let's pop that one down. Okay, get my glue spreader. Like that. Oh my goodness, I have spread glue everywhere. It's just pouring out. Okay. There we go. This one here. <clears throat> okay. Right, looking good. So I can just cut that down. I mean, you can cut them down actually. I'm thinking maybe with a curly edge. So let me just get my curly edge scissors. I tend to use the curly edge, you know, if I'm making kind of like faux photographs and things like that. But oh, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough room to. Um, I'm not going to do that on there because I don't think I've got enough room to be able to get the scissors in, <clears throat> you know, to cut the decorative edge around where, you know, where I've not left much room. So, yeah, I won't do that for this one, but I might do it for the next one. So that's just that. And then let's go for this one on here. So, and again, I'm just going to ink up around the edge. <clears throat> Now, obviously, I've left this, um, you know, with all that blank white space, if you see what I mean, at the top because I wanted to have it, you know, longer rather than square. But what I might do is actually stamp a little bit of script or something over that so it's not quite so plain. So if we put that down here, in fact, I will stamp it first, I think. So I'm just going to pull in. Just my, yeah, my script. Do I want to do the script? Sorry, I'm now just backtracking thinking, oh, do I want to? Yeah, let's do the script stamp. So just stamp randomly. I mean, obviously there's not that much white space, so, you know, I just need a tiny bit really. Like that, a bit there. And then maybe just a little bit down the bottom as well. Just to fill in some of those little blank spots or, you know, plainer spots. So how pretty does that look? Just kind of makes it less, you know, less boring, less plain. So let's just pop that one down. Where are we going today? Hello, sweetie. Are you okay, gorgeous? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. You look very tired today. Do you feel very tired? You've got a tired look to you. 
Roxy as children, you never want to admit you're tired, do you? I suspect she is tired. Are you sure? So again, just spreading this out everywhere. And then this one, I am going to try and do that curly, you know, curly effect. So let's just take all of that glue, wipe it off. Not curly, not curly effect, but you know, with the decorative scissors because, um, you know, I've got obviously all that rim around there so I can do that. So let's just go around this. Just to give it a bit of a different feel. So like that. today yeah good girl right that looks really nice now I'm just wondering whether I'd like to go around the edge of this one actually with my black soot should we just glue another one down just before I do that so that we've got kind of several on the go oh actually the other ones I may want to do on collage backgrounds I'm thinking so should we do this one because this is the last of the plain ones that I've got So, yeah. I'll muck that up a bit because I've had to cut into the, to the text. Okay. Take that down. Right. Oh, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Right, let's just quickly ink this one up. Yeah, the other ones I'd quite like to do on collage backgrounds, so I'm going to do those in, a, you know, probably a separate video if I'm truthful, because I probably won't have time to do them in this. I mean, yeah, sometimes I just think I'm over ambitious and clearly think I'm faster crafter than I am, which, you know, why has it not dawned on me? I am like not a fast crafter at all. For some reason, I just don't seem to grasp that. You know, still shocks me. Still shocks me how slow I really am. Okay. Right, so let's put that one down. Yeah, just like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Put this one down here. Okay. Oh, loads of glue coming out from this one. Absolutely loads. Right, there we go. Just, sorry, just suddenly thought it needed a bit more spreading on that side. Right, now I'm just wondering whether I might cut this down with wider edges. I mean, obviously it's got a wider edge on that side and I'm thinking maybe, maybe that's a nice feature. Uh, let's just go down there. Oh, I quite like that with those wide edges. I know that sounds strange. It's not really the most adventurous thing, but <laughs> there's something quite nice about it. And actually, I was going to go round that other one with the black soot, but I suddenly remembered I've got my metallic paint sticks. I haven't used these a great deal, but I'm wondering what this might look like around the edge. So let's kind of put that there. So I'm going to test this on one of the scraps that I've cut off. So let's just take the lid off. Okay, and let's just see how this is. Mm. Oh, it's not, not as dark as I'd hoped, but actually smudges in quite nicely. 
So, what do we think? Yeah, it's not as black as I'd hoped. Um, do you know what I'm thinking is actually maybe go over with the black soot and then maybe go over then with the metallic paint stick as well. What do we reckon? Oh, it's, it's a tough call. Right, let me definitely, definitely change my ink pad because there's no way it's going to be coming back from black soot. So let's just go for this one. And I'm just going to try it on here first and see how that metallic looks over the top. Over the top of that. Oh, I don't know now. I was really convinced that that black sit was the way to go. Now I'm not so sure. I'm going to do it anyway because, you know, <laughs> go with your first instincts. But yeah, I might, might live to regret it. I'm not going to do that metallic because um, I think it's got a bit, you know, more of a silver kind of effect really rather than black. So yeah, it just doesn't look as black as I would have liked. I'm not going to do that for that. Um, hmm. What do we think on this one? Oh no, now I've now I've wiped. I've wiped um, some of that black metallic paint on there. Oh gosh, now I can't get rid of it. Oh, hmm. that's annoying, isn't it? Oh well, just going to go over now with the black soot to cover it up and disguise it. So yeah. That wasn't what I was intending on doing, but yeah, it's um, one of those situations where you just then <laughs> just got to go with the flow because sometimes these mistakes happen and it's like, oh, now I've got no choice but to go with it. That was one of those situations there. Okay. Right, okay, so that's those two. So for this one, I'm going to just do the walnut stain just around the edge, you know, as per the the piece itself. But then actually now I've bought those metallic paint sticks out, I'm thinking that we could maybe do something metallic-y. around the edge of this one. So again, let's just see what colors we've got and things. We've got this green. So again, I'm just going to kind of do a trial piece and see how that looks. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's seriously bright, isn't it? Oh, it's toned down a bit to be fair now. So we could do that. Let me see what the, this is like a limey green. So I think this is gonna to be too bright, but. Let me see what happens if I mix the two. So if I do that one over the top. I think that's still, you know, still very bright. Let me just try the blue. Because, I mean, that bird has got a little bit of blue on it. Oh, I'm going to go with the green. Yeah, I'm going to go with the darker, the darker green, not that sort of bright green, because that's a bit too, bit too bright. Oh, they actually, do you know what I'm going to do actually? <laughs> Sorry, I'm backtracking like left, right and centre here, which I know must be boring as anything to watch. But I think what I'm going to do is kind of like have a bit of, bit of, you know, the, um, the light green and then a bit of the, the dark. So like that and then I'm going to just go over with the darker green so all around like that and then just smoosh that in and smudge that in as best I can with my finger I mean I've not used these as um, 
you know, paint or anything. I've used it more like a crayon. So, I mean, you can wet these. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I should have wet it. Oh, I've just got some touched onto that, um, you know, the image, which actually I love. So I'm just gonna kind of try and touch some onto the image in some other places. Because I love how that looks. Okay. Do you want a little bit more up here? Because that's not got much. Oh, sorry about that. I had to go and um, do something with my daughter. Right. Um, yes, so we've got this one. Now, I'm thinking, what am I thinking? Maybe one of our little bows. I'm really liking using those at the moment. So let's try one of them. Okay. I'm thinking a postage stamp would be really nice on here as well. So I think we'll, yeah, definitely use a postage stamp. So, oh, how cute does that bow look? Oh, could even have the bow there. Uh, the other thing that I did actually, whilst I was just, you know, doing that with my daughter, I just quickly stamped myself and embossed a couple of these gold little pieces, which I think thought might work really nicely but actually now I'm cutting them out and thinking maybe a little bit too big or they might go better on just the black and white pieces so just see but yeah I mean I've cut out two or sorry stamped off two so tentatively I've got two that I can be using but we'll see okay Actually, that's quite nice on there. I thought that was going to look really, really rubbish, but it actually looks quite good. So let me just ink that up. Yeah, it actually looks really good on there. So let's just use my hot glue. And again, I mean, I'm just using hot glue and I say this all the time, but I'm just using it because it's quick and easy when you're doing a video. So if you don't have hot glue, you know, you don't, don't have to use hot glue for things. I just, you know, I mean, I like hot glue anyway, but when you're doing a video, it's super, super, super handy. So, you know, because then I just, I know it's glued down. I don't have to be worrying about holding it down or anything. It's, it's just glued. So I'm going to put that there in that corner. I'm actually thinking I could have gone around the edge of that with some of the metallic as well. You know, the green as well. Didn't think until I've obviously, you know, applied the glue. But yeah, that would have also looked really good on there. So let's just go for the bow. I know I've covered up that whole bird, but that's fine. I don't mind that. So let's just, again... And these stamps, these are those beautiful stamps that were gifted to me by the lovely Christina. Um, I, I can't remember the name of her shop. And I'm so sorry. L oh, laser and leather craft, I think it is. Um, I will try and remember to link it below. If I don't, please just nudge me. It's not intentional. I'm just super, super forgetful. You know, because I'm obviously doing um, the videos. And then when I'm uploading it, I've kind of generally gone off and done something else by then. So I've forgotten, obviously, what I've said that I'm going to link. So, yes, if you want to know, and I have forgotten, which, let's face it, is probably likely, just just mention it and um, I can then, whoops, link that. Alternatively, you know, you might be able to find my video using those lovely stamps. And then, obviously, all the links would be in that video, so... Right, so quite liking that there. That's quite nice, isn't it? Do we want anything else? Let's see whether we want that kind of like on some... Let's just take this down. Okay. And just 
pop it on there and this time I'll just wet glue this onto that piece and then probably hot glue that piece if you see what I mean so just a bit of wet glue here okay and I'll just dab that dab that up like that okay and I'm just going to put that yeah over there so I'll just take my glue Okay, Okay. really, really, really pretty, isn't it? I love how that's turned out. Absolutely love it. So let's put that to one side, okay? And then we've got these two, which are kind of the neutral coloured ones. So again, I'm thinking definitely use one of those gold, um, you know, stamped pieces, because that looks gorgeous. So we'll just, again, cut that out. Like that. Oops. Got this weird thing um, <laughs> that now I'm going to have to try because it keeps entering my head. If I've got any of the neutral birds, you know, the black and white birds, whether just there's a big one that I could tear out and kind of like place over these birds. I mean, I did initially just really want to keep the birds like in their entirety, but I'm now thinking, I mean, that's not black and white, obviously, but it was just, it was there. I thought, oh, well, worth a try, but yeah, probably not that. Oh, they're not big enough. They're not big enough. So yeah, we'll scrap that idea. Yeah, scrap that, scrap that idea. Okay. So yeah, we will um, just stick with this one. Let's have a look and see. Okay. I've got that bow there. Let me just try that. It's massive, but it might look good. Because I mean, it's a big journal card, so. If anyone can take it, it should be able to. Okay, and just go around there. So I hope everyone's having a good day, doing some crafting, having a nice time. What are you guys all working on? I'm still, would you believe, trying to whittle my desk down for my, my What's On Your Desk series, like, you know, I know I've mentioned this so many times, but honestly, I'd kind of partially filmed the series and then oh, the desk got so out of control because I did a few other projects at the same time that actually the desk looked worse than when I'd started. So I thought, well, I can't very well now keep doing that series because, you know, people will think I'm a lunatic that actually having done the series, my desk's actually got worse. So I'm trying to get my desk to a sort of, <laughs> to a similar point as how it started. Oh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Right, oh, that might just lose the bow, the, you know, element of what that even is, you know, that it's a bow, if I have it like that. Let's just check. Okay, what about if we have it in the middle? I know that is covering up some of those um, birds, but what do we think? Does that matter? I quite like it. And you know, sometimes it's just nice to do something completely different, isn't it? Completely kind of off, um, off the norm that we would normally do. So yeah, I think maybe that's quite cool. Okay. Oops. I'm going to just push my glue stick in a bit more. Okay that down here and yeah I'll have that just checking just checking 
yeah I'm gonna have it sideways on just you know just for something a little bit different I think okay I'll just pop that down there oh how lovely is that so this was obviously the one where I had all those different bird names of course so you know I haven't got the bird name piece anymore because yeah they were too many too many to list um wondering do I want to have a do I want to have a stamped piece or anything um you know a, a postmark uh do we want to have a postage stamp let me just pull in my brownie colored stamps because I've mixed those with some sort of gray black ones do I have anything here Oh, it's a bit in the way. It's a bit in the way now. Unless I have it down there. Let me just ink this up. Need to go and make some breakfast in a minute because I'm starving. And after a while, it just affects your ability to concentrate. And then I'm just rambling on and, you know, probably making like no sense whatsoever. Oh. Could have the postage stamp there. Let's do that. Okay. Oops. Like that. Okay, let's press, whoops, press that down. And then I'm just going to do the postmark stamp over there. Now, how am I going to do it? Yeah, I'm going to have to do it like that. Oh, I love how that looks. Isn't that just gorgeous? Really, really, really love how that looks. Really nice, yeah. Okay, so I'm really loving that. Um, just wondering now, what did I do with my gold glue uh, paint stick? Because I'm thinking it might benefit from a little bit of, you know, touch of gold around the edges. What do you think? Can I see my gold anywhere? No, I can't. No, I can't see it anywhere. Okay, well, we'll knock that idea on the head then. Okay, let's go for this one. What should we do for this one? I'm not sure. Maybe add some applique pieces to this one. I'm thinking might be quite nice. Oh, there's a little leaf on that flower, which I nearly just didn't see and chopped off might not want the leaf actually to be honest it might be might be better without oh that's okay actually so we could yeah have a couple of these pretty applique bits you having a nice time sweetie good girl love you darling Uh, yeah maybe kind of something like that feeling like we do need something else on there I'm not sure what we need oh, let me just see see what I've got I mean even a number or something would be good oh I have got these butterflies so we could have a little butterfly somewhere Yeah, definitely like the appliques on there. So let's just glue those down. Okay, that one. And this one. Like that. Okay, let me just ink up this butterfly to get over my shoddy, shoddy cutting. I don't know whether that is the right colour to be honest but I do have a number which is kind of similar colour it's massive yeah it's a bit too big let me see if I've got any others smaller in that same sort of colour I mean obviously I have but it's whether or not I've got them accessible um, 
And of course I haven't, because that would be far too easy, wouldn't it, if they were actually here, usable. Let me just tear this down, see if I can get it to a sort of smaller size that would be usable, or whether then it just looks absolutely rubbish. I'm thinking it's going to look absolutely rubbish, but who knows, might look okay. Could have it like that, I suppose. Let's just ink that up. Yeah, we could have it like that, to be honest. So let's, yeah, let's get this one down. Let's put it down here. Like that. Actually, I go kind of to the edge with that. And then the butterfly. Just have, actually might have it there. I'm just wondering whether this might look quite cool with some hessian on it. Um, you know, as a tab or something. That's way too big, that stamp, isn't it? Which is a shame because colour-wise, I think it's really good colour um, on there. But yeah, I think it's... I don't think it's great size-wise. Let me just ink this one and see if this would look okay. It's not too bad. Um, hmm. I don't know, the butterfly is quite right on there and it's now already glued down. Oh, do you know, let's just go for this because otherwise, again, I'm just going to be here all day and just need to kind of crack on sometimes a little bit faster so yeah let's just put that down okay let me just dab that up and then again just going to do my little postmark stamp over that there we go that looks quite cute now doesn't it yeah. Okay. So we have done three journal cards and obviously I still have the other pieces that, you know, I tore out left to do, but I will probably come back and do those. I'm thinking collage background for those ones and kind of either fussy tear or fussy cut the birds out a bit more. Um, I think would look really nice. So yeah, I quite like these ones that we've done though. I think we've got some different looks here and um, yeah, quite quite happy with the results. So I hope that you like them and um, maybe it's given you some inspiration or something. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you will come back and join me when we will work with these ones. So thank you so much and have a great day, everyone. Thanks then. Bye.